what is the truth talking about persecution about christian in persecution in the world it has been classified in different level in the world depending in which country you live it is about persecution it is about persecution and crime on christian is different uh, in different countries people are wondering why jesus let people suffer why there is a pain in the world these questions appears in any human mind the correct answer is that it is not jesus or god will people suffer only that satan and his evil and demons are in work in this world that is what god and jesus warned us from the beginning jesus has talked with us and educated us how we can live in a healthy way to defeat the crime we must have courage in, in to inform each other and wisely defeat evils we can be condemned by evils but with help of god and jesus we can find the peace and love the pain and suffering period can be long or short depending on our belief we know that god is patient and god is in work to defeat satan and his us in this world god will that people find at rest god's work and it takes time depending on our belief god sent his angels and holy spirit to guide us and remind us about the scripture god's words which is valid in any time god will our belief and trust on his work when everybody knows then the miracle happens then be a part of god's plan and inform everyone now i ask you people why you want to be lazy and asking god and jesus to rescue you by only and simply their wish yes if god and jesus wish it destroys demons and evils but we people are living with these those wrong and fake laws we are a part of the pain and satan's plan reigns by his um, demon and evils then god and jesus are working on that to defeat them and rescue people from them we must make people believe stronger so that the rescue time be short pray to the god and say yes to jesus and god's grace making us holy amen jesus and god wait until his people believe on their works and rescue plans during this time we suffer but this time can be short when we believe quicker amen think on jesus suffering and his time on the earth his love to the god and god's will his love to human god's creation and his trust to god rescue plan saving us from evils and demons he is strongly educated people to help god that human be saved and made that waiting time limited and peace time longer amen people can be lost by losing their faith but we must convince them to trust the god amen leave your problems under the cross and let jesus smash for he knows how he does amen pray that jesus makes you strong to stay faithful and unharmed in the pain period ask him make you wise for helping to defeat evils and demons pray that your help hopeful voice be heard of others amen talk about the pain and if you have the solution let people know ask god for his uh, wisdom to inform others about his rescue plan ask god to replace the hope in your heart ask god helping us to approve god's grace making us holy inform and remind everybody about god's and jesus promises and trust on them amen Ebronian 2 part 10 It is talking about the pain and suffering Jesus examined the pain and suffering to understand human in this world He educated us how to defeat and change evil plans to a victory Jesus became crucified and raised from the dead to defeat the death and raise his believers from the dead 
I tell you that even you are living in this world can live in darkness and as a death. Read the scripture and understand the words and believe. God's purpose is that fill the heaven with his children. It is God's grace. God's purpose is that gives his son Jesus many, many children and makes Jesus' family big, bigger and stronger. Then you as Christians support this wonderful aim and introduce Jesus to the whole world and let people be his children because God loves different cultures. The whole purpose with Jesus in this world was a wonderful demonstration of God's beautiful plan. Jesus suffered, which um, of course wasn't God's will, but God worked on that and made it as a complete victory which was restoring human to God's kingdom and defeating the death. Hallelujah, Amen. But Satan and his demons and evils try to destroy this wonderful plan. When we answer to these idiots, we get pain and must suffer. Then don't complain to God and Jesus when we do mistakes and accept evils. Only be aware and stay against the demons and evils. Jesus came to this world as human to understand our pain, and he learned us how to be free and not be slave. He died as a human, but to fight against the death and Satan. The fear on death is this, uh, this decree. If you are not sinner, then you haven't any fear on death because Jesus is with you. He was a hero and an example for us to be as him. Accept Jesus as your Lord to be free. Only one time Jesus wondered that they, uh, what God has left him. He didn't realize God's presence, but God quickly appeared. It is also another example for us humans that seek the God when we are left. Remember that the time between crucified and raising from the dead was an unseen demonstration of God's plan and Jesus fight to save his people, Jesus believers, from the death. Isaiah warned the Jewish about their sin and God's anger. Justice happens and God's messengers remain God's grace to his people. Be baptizing by baptizing our sins are forgiven and we become reborn. Our body becomes holy, which is a place for God's words. Jesus lives in you and you in him. Don't abuse this and uh, sin again for you disturb Jesus and you are in trouble. If you continue, Jesus leaves you and the, the demons appear and take you from the God. Jesus is with us and each time we are uh, worried, he helps us and delivers us. He is the bridge between the, this world and the other world. Find out about Jesus and God's purpose of your life and fulfill it. Ask humbly God and Jesus about that knowledge. Amen. Ebronian 3 part 1 Moses was Jewish hero, but the Christian lifestyle is different from Jewish lifestyle. Jesus' house in this world is us. His believers, if we, if we strong, strongly obey him and keep his commandments, he is satisfied and feel himself happy. But if he be sins, he becomes unhappy and we feel trouble. Hebronian 1 part 3 If you keep yourself legalized, you only lead to life. But if you keep Bible, you are in life. God has sent us different prophets in this world to lead us and rescue us. From God sent us Jesus to complete his plan. Then be a part of this revolution. Connect your mind to Jesus. Understand his words with your soul and listen to Holy Spirit and develop your spirit. Pray that God's words and Jesus' revolution be raked in you. Have patience and trust God and Jesus. Be aware uh, and pay attention on Jesus and his messengers. 
God chooses Jesus to create something great and they succeeded, then be a part of this creation and fight it against evils and demons. Moses is a part of God's house and he has also places for his real children. Jesus is also a part of God's house but some t- someone greater and he has places for real children. God's house is an endurance place and the tent is a place where God g- gathers few and talk with them. In this world tent is church. Ebranian tree. Jesus builds the temples, which are our bodies. The materials for building is our body shape and God's uh, words. But how we understand and obey and love and save others make this building beautiful. Hallelujah. Amen. Zacharias 6 part 12. The temples are built by prophets and their followers as a meeting place between God and people, as well sinners and believers. Moses and Jesus are in the God's house, but Moses as the prophet and Jesus as the son. The son does the same as the father, what Jesus did and does. The prophets are messengers and of course they, they do the same God's words as they tell us. All God's prophets followed the God's grace proper for that time. They completed the previous revolutions. All prophets informed about Jesus, Son of God, as our Savior. We Christians are living temples where Jesus lives. Then keep it clean, pure, safe, lovely, and holy. Stay where Jesus is resident. Jesus is in you and you in Jesus. If you are concentrated in this, then you do not sin. Each time you are in trouble, tell Jesus that he is in you uh, in you, and that you are safe and saved. Hallelujah. Amen.